check it out. What's up, y'all? This your boy Lil Yaf from UNLV. You wait, me. Y'all already know where I'm from, man. Check it out. I won't run this up about when Master P tried to get BG and UNLV from Baby from Cash Money Records. It was 1995. We doing the uh actually this was our second concert with him. First concert we had with No Limit. It was at the uh, Riverboat Hallelujah, but the second one was at the Jazz Fest, 1995. We coming off stage, Pete them getting ready to go on stage. I think it was, it had to be, uh, BG performed right before we did, and we was last for Cash Money set. So we went on there and done our thing or whatever. As we walking off stage, me and Yellow walking like together, talking about something, you know what I'm saying? But I'm looking at P, you know, I'm like, I want, I really want to meet that dude, whoop -de -whoop, you know what I'm saying? But I'm looking at P, and P walking over there towards Baby. P said, what's up, B? P said, what's up, P? P said, man, I need that act out you. He said, what act? He said, UNLV. And matter of fact, I need BG too. And B was like, nah, P, I can't, I, I can't give you them, dog. I can't give you them. You know, and he was like, well, what, what's up, man? Let's work something out. And, and, you know, baby left it like that. He was adamant about keeping UNLV and BG a part of Cash Money Records at the time. I spoke on this in another interview and with, with my homie uh, at Nation of Podcasts, shots out the whole shit. And I actually told him that then me and Yellow was upset about it. But then later, we was like, we was cool about it because we was still hotter than New Limit in New Orleans. And we had, you know, deals on the table and shit waiting to, to get signed. You know what I'm saying? So I felt we was in a better position. And we, you know, it was, it was a good idea that Baby held us at the time. But like the ball fell, you know, like the dice rolled. When we did get the deal for cash money, I mean, we wasn't a part of it. You know what I'm saying? It, it was our choice. But it could have been handled, you know, well, we could have been a part of that. But that's another story. I'm going to run that probably in another episode or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to say that for some uh, another episode. I got so many stories. I'm talking about I got stories before cash money, during cash money, and after cash money days. You know what I'm saying? I use cash money as like a, a, a cornerstone because most people know of cash money records. And, you know, that, that make people really understand where I'm coming from, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, that's how I'm doing it. I need y'all to like and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell another friend about my podcast. Check on his way home. Pensanola album is out. Tour is going on right now as we speak. My dog on the way. Surely, it's going to be some UNLV chance some stuff up, man. So y'all all, uh, y'all kick back and chill. Just enjoy the ride, you heard me? Trust the process, you wait me? Yeah, I'm out.